need to store stuff in our offices and our studies. And traditionally this has been done through filing cabinets. So I'm gonna be taking on the ultimate challenge to make a filing cabinet look hot enough to live in this current project that we're doing. Now, I have found an old and neglected filing cabinet um, in one of my friend's garages, and we're going to be making that over. One, so we have somewhere to store all the really important paperwork that hasn't yet evolved to being digital, and two, we're going to restore it to make sure that it fits in well in here. And I do love a bit of bling just a bit of bling. So we're actually going to be creating a gold filing cabinet. It's going to be a bit of a task, but I'm up for the challenge. Now, it's quite a challenge because it is a black filing cabinet. So I've gone to see my friends at Bristol, the paint specialists, and they've advised me of exactly what I need for this. All right team, I'm super excited about the makeover of the filing cabinet. Now it's a bit of a tricky one. I've never made over such a shiny surface before. We're gonna need some standard things like wet and dry sanding pad, stick to mix the paint up. We have to make sure we really do that well. Paintbrush for any cutting in or any drips. Naturally, I'm wanting a really, really smooth finish. So I've gone with a microfiber, it's a UniPro microfiber short nap roller. That should give me a really smooth finish rather than a stippled one. But two absolutely essential products here. It's this one is first. So this is the White Knight Rust Guard Quick Dry. So not only does it dry in an hour, which is outrageous, but without this, no matter what I pop on top of it, isn't going to go really well. So this does a couple of things. If it was in a, a surface that was prone to rust, it, it really prevents it from rusting. But most importantly for me with this one, is it's gonna make sure that whatever I choose to put on top of it is a good stick. So great adhesion. So it's an amazing primer to use if you're wanting to transform pretty much most metal surfaces. So no matter how good my top coat was, if I didn't use this beautiful puppy here, um, my top coat would be mute. Now the team at Bristol have recommended this to me. I went to them and I said, hey guys, I want a metallic gold finish. And so they've given me this system to use together. And the top one is actually from Porter's Paints. It is the Alchemy Liquid Gold. So let's see how this goes over the awesome rust guard and um, see what finish we get. Now both of these products, again, always important to check your wash up. Both of these products are a water wash up. Um, this one actually is touch dry in 20 minutes, which is amazing. And you can recoat after an hour, which is awesome. Always remember team that your environment does affect your drying time. So if it's colder, if it's wetter, if it's hotter, if it's drier, it will all affect the drying time. So make sure you take that into account. Now, if I'm gonna be dead honest with you, these haven't turned out exactly as I'd like. They're a little more yellow or mustardy than I'd imagined that they would be. And although the can tells me that I need to use a brush for it, it's still come up with quite a streaky look on it. So, I figure I've got nothing to lose. I'm gonna give them a third coat now, slight sand back, and I'm actually gonna roll them. Um, and then I'm just gonna see how I feel once it's dry and it's in place in the room. It is feeling a little mustardy at the moment, but I could be completely shocked once I integrate it with the rest of the space and it looks like a beautiful metallic gold. But fear not, this is my theory about paint. You can paint anything. So if I choose in you know a month, in six months, in one week, that I don't like the gold, I can just paint over it. But let me see first if I can salvage this puppy. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. A good shake. This is actually quite a viscous paint. So um, I'm quite intrigued as to how this might turn out if I choose to roll it. A really good stir. 
every time I need to give it a stir. This could be an epic fail of, <laughs> of epic proportions. But yeah, it's a beautiful paint. Okay. Clean tray, clean roller. You all know I was completely unsure about how this would go. I wasn't thrilled at all after the first coat. In fact, I was nearly ready to throw the towel in, but I'm really glad that I didn't because the way it has ended up and with that little bit of glitter and shimmer through that paint, that really metallic edge, it is, um, it's a game changer. Thanks for tuning in. Now, if you loved what you saw in this video, I've popped the link to one of my latest posts below where I go into more detail for you. Enjoy.